Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to, or give you two different ways that I've come up with that you can match drill the holes in your flapper on counterweights to match the holes that are already drilled into your flapper on. So the two holes we're working with are right here and this is our counterweight for the flapper on. It just clips over the leading edge of the flapper on like that and you need to match the two holes in the top and two in the bottom. And there's actually three, so you'll drill a, th a third one in the, uh, in the center. They do make hole finders, but it's kind of hard to use on here because it doesn't fit under here. So there's probably many ways you can do this, but I've come up with two ways that, that work for me, so I'll show you both of them. If, all you need is a ruler and a fine tip Sharpie. And I'm gonna draw two lines that intersect with, uh, with this hole. So it goes right in the middle of the hole. It doesn't matter what angle you go through, just as long as it, it goes through the center of the hole. So you can see on there, it just forms an X and where those two lines cross is right where the hole is at. So the next step is to take your, um, your counterweight, put it up to the wing to where you want it and then we're just gonna basically redraw those two lines, this time on top of the counterweight. And now where these two lines intersect, you have the first hole. I just have this counterweight clamped to the table like this, and I'm going to use a center punch. I'm gonna make a mark exactly in the middle and then drill a number 30 hole. I've drilled the hole in here, and I'm gonna use this uh, Scotch-Brite wheel to deburr that hole on both sides. Now the easy part is we're going to put it on here, put a Clico in it, and then the next thing I'm going to do is these two holes on the front, and that'll make sure it's held tight, and then that'll make it easier to do all the other holes. There's one. All right, so both of these holes are drilled in a leading edge. So what I can do now is, oh, I forgot to mark my other two lines on this hole, so I need to take it off, mark the other two lines on this hole, and then I can uh, drill the other hole on the top. So I said I was gonna show you two different ways to do this. The first way is to draw an X, and where they cross, you have your hole. The other way is just to draw one line, and this line you can see is two inches long, and it ends right in the center of that hole. So now when I put on my counterweight here, I'll redraw that line, measure up two inches, and the end of that line should be right where that hole will go. All right, hopefully you can see this in the camera, but I have that two inch line drawn. I have this cleat code back on. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this exactly on that line. And it's right here, I'm starting at the, the 10, I'm gonna go up to the eight. So I'm gonna redraw this line on here, and right exactly where it ends is where I can punch a hole. I'm not sure if you guys could see that, so here's what I did on here. Here's that two inch line that goes under the counterweight. 
So I put the ruler back on there and I measured up two inches and where that line ends, if I use the uh, center punch and punch a, a, a dimple right on the end of that and drill a hole, it should go right into the hole in the flapper on. All right, so I have it clamped down here again. I'm gonna take my center punch. I'm gonna put it right on the end of that line. All I do is I start it with a number 40 and then I drill it with the uh, number 30. So now that it's drilled, I have the two top holes drilled. We'll just put a couple of Clecos in. And that's done. Now we, would, we just have to do it again to the bottom two holes. So after you guys are done drilling those to number 30, you'll need to open them up to number 20 for A5 rivets. I've done that on the top. And if you check your plans, this also calls for three rivets, so I just need to mark the center here and actually drill another hole yet. But this, this just shows you how to match drill those. This is actually easy because you can drill down through there and uh, you're not match drilling anything, you're just drilling it together. So it, it, that one will come out perfect. The other thing I wanted to mention with these, if you use these pieces as they arrive from Zenith, you'll notice this little space on the bottom of a leading edge. Once you rivet the bottom, the bottom will be held nice to the, the flapper on. But there's a little space, uh, if you can see a little space right there on the bottom. So I suppose if you really wanted to, you could cut this, uh, this arm off and make another steel piece if you had a way to bend it and exactly match the curve of the leading edge. I don't have the equipment or the skill to do that, so I am just going to live with that little gap right there. So the next step for me, I don't need to show you guys because it's the exact same thing you did on the top, but I have two more holes to drill here. I'll get those drilled, opened up to number 20, and add my center hole on each one. Well, hopefully those little tips helped you. It's not rocket science, but if you were wondering how to do that, I just showed you two different ways. Of the two different ways I showed you with the crossing lines and then the second way with one line and then measuring it, I actually like the two lines better. I think when you have a, a crossing intersection, it's just a little bit more accurate. And uh, that's what I used on the, the rest of my holes uh, and for the bottom of this flapper on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have two more of these counterweights to put on and then I'm all done.